Hey everyone, where have you been? Jeez, it's been a while, right? This is our first video of 2024 and it's not very ranchy, but um, still got some horse content in there, still got me. A lot of things been going on, the new year, the holidays. Um, I went to this big barrel race, a lot of things. My camera, the mic isn't working that great, so I need to upgrade my camera. I've been trying to shop and do that and Gosh, cameras are so confusing. I was just gonna get another iPhone and go that way, but I think I'm gonna get a nice camera. And um, so yeah, just the microphone not working on my phone has been kind of um, a downer and I don't really feel like filming when my microphone isn't working that well. Um, but anyway, hopefully we get a new camera and everything set up, the mic, the lens, everything. Gosh, it's, it's a lot. I figured you guys would be I don't know, busy checking out the new channels. Um, I don't know, it just seems like the ranching uh, niche, the ranching sector of YouTube is pretty saturated right now. So I figured you wouldn't miss us. <laughs> I could be wrong, I don't know. Maybe you want to see lots more videos from us, but let us know in the comments um, what you'd like to see this year. Uh, feels like we kind of just do the same thing year after year. It's winter now, we're just, you know, doing winter stuff and then pretty soon it's going to be getting ready to put the mares out and then we get the studs out and then we have babies and then we do branding and anyway, if there's something uh, you'd like to see in particular, let us know in the comments. Otherwise, enjoy this video and um, good to see you again. Oh, one more thing. It's almost Valentine's Day and the earrings have been restocked. So if you want some of these Really nice Navajo cluster earrings to give to your wife or friend, girlfriend. Get your orders in because the supplies are always limited and we're always running out. Um, nothing I can do because they're all handmade and made especially for our channel. So we get what we get when we can and um, go get some earrings for Valentine's Day. Well, hey guys, here we are. That's Ghost and that's Vixen. And we are in Buckeye at the MVP and Greg Olson barrel race. Uh, this barrel race goes on for two weekends. It's like Friday, Saturday, Sunday this week and then next week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we're here for like two weeks, these two and I. We got here on Wednesday. Today is, no, we got here on Monday. Today's Wednesday. Uh, we came early so we could go to a race and get the horses in the arena a few times before the um, MVP barrel race actually starts. So we've been here for a couple days and I've been under the weather, like really, really bad. Um, body aches, coughing, congestion all of the things, headaches, and barely had any energy to ride my horses yesterday. Um, but I got it done and just now getting um, some energy to video a little bit. So we've been here a couple days and we'll be here for maybe two weeks if we win some money. So fingers crossed we win some money this weekend and I'll try and bring you along for as much as I can.
Well, Henson was able to come down and visit me for a couple days, and of course, he brought some horses with him. <laughs> That's crazy that he's riding. She'll be three, and Sensei, he'll be four. And he was able to get them into the main arena and just ride them around for a couple days away from the ranch, get them exposed to some new stuff, and they did great. He makes it look really easy. <laughs> We are back. We're still in Buckeye and it's beautiful. The sun is shining. The weather is awesome. It's like between 55 and 60 degrees every day so far. So I am loving spending time here in Buckeye. I just um, came down here to bring the horses to a race and I don't know, maybe sell a horse. Maybe I sold one. Maybe by the end of this video, you'll find out who it is. <laughs> uh, anyway, we have um, gone to the MVP barrel race. We did okay. We won, Vixen and I, about $500 or so and a buckle. And I'm wearing it. If you can see, check it out. MVP Buckeye Barrel Race. <clears throat> so that was really cool. I was not expecting to get any sort of prize, but... Um, we stuck in there for the average, and that's really cool to have Vixen win a buckle and over $500 at her very first race. I don't have many videos of our runs because Henson went home and took care of stuff at the ranch, and I'm kind of just here in the trailer just camping out. This is my little camp out area. I'm sleeping there, and the horses have their stall, and I'm just playing around, staying out of the cold. There's a big storm that hit home, and... Thank goodness I am not there because I don't like the cold. Um, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling a lot better, um, which is good, and I have energy to ride. So I'm going to go ride these guys, and I'll get back with you when I'm done riding. Well, there's a roping going on. We just brought these guys to come over and see the sights and ride for a little bit. Buckeye's real cool if you guys haven't been here. There's an indoor arena down there. Outdoor arena, outdoor arena, outdoor arena, and the big indoor right there. So we're gonna pick one of these and ride for a bit. Okay, I lied. And there's another arena right here. So that makes one, two, three, four, five, six arenas here at Buckeye. And check out this ground nice and fresh and fluffy just worked the other day i went into the other covered arena over there and that ground was freshly worked nobody had been in there so man these guys are on top of their game if you've never been here to buckeye or if you have and you never wanted to come back <laughs> that was me sorry i'm trying to get out of the wind but um yeah, we came five years ago and then we came last year and I was not impressed with this facility. But came this year and man, they have turned it up a notch. They are under new ownership and just really have turned this facility around. The bathrooms are um, bigger, cleaner, stalls are better, grounds are better. They've leveled a lot of the parking lot, which is really cool. I saw them come in here the other day with like this, I don't know, like a plow and a roller behind it and just leveled everything back out. They scoop up the poop every morning. Even this guy, look at him. He's over here cleaning poop by this trailer. 
so, so cool. That buckeye got into the right hands. <sighs> Come down, guys. Check it out. Anyway, I'm going to ride Vixen a little bit. Swing the rope on her a little bit. And then ride Ghost. Pedigo and Josh Peterson, Dustin Wilson, Randy Walker. That's a no time. Okay. Well, that was a nice little ride. Got to check out the sights and check out the roping. Uh, so I guess I'll tell you guys now that Vixen is sold. That was basically my last ride on her. I'm really excited and sad at the same time, but this is what we do. I put her for sale and I can't say, no, she's not going anywhere. Um, she's going to li live half of her year in Montana and then half of the year here in Arizona. Um, the new owners are from Montana and they go back and forth. They're snowbirds. So it's really cool because that's where Vixen is from. She's from Montana and... I'm excited for them. I think it's going to be a good match and it's just nice to make a good horse and to see it go to somebody that's going to use it. So bittersweet and I guess I'll take you guys along when we load her up. I don't know if she's coming tonight to pick her up or in the morning. So yeah, that's the news guys. I guess um, we'll see you in a little bit. In addition to winning the buckle and money, Vixen also won a Beamer session, which is uh, electromagnetic therapy for the horses. Uh, this helps with healing and recovery and just really nice uh, therapy for the horse to increase their blood flow and lots of benefits. So before she left, I got her... Um, a session on the Beamer and Ghost, of course, got a session too, and I think they loved it. <laughs> so it was just a really nice, relaxing time uh, to be with Vixen before she left to her new home. guys and just like that Vixen is headed to her new home um, I used to be a big crier and cry a lot when the horses would leave but I've gotten a little better at it and um, you know it's what we do it's bittersweet but uh, I'm glad we found her a great place she is going to ranch even and that's gonna be really cool because that's what she does she's good at that and she's gonna perform it's all good uh, we still have a few more days here in Buckeye and we'll try and bring you along for the rest of that. It's snowing back home and it's raining and kind of ugly here, but <clears throat> it's better than 30 degrees. I think we're going to be like almost 60 today, even though we've got this ugly cloud cover. Okay. See you guys in a bit. Okay guys, time to leave this beautiful 60 degree weather. Got Ghosty loaded up and gave him his Nutri-Back for the trip. And we're all hooked up and ready to go. I've been here for like two weeks guys. So that's why there hasn't been a video or, or much going on our social medias because I just been enjoying myself out here and it's been a great time. And I'll probably come back next year. I had a blast. I miss my kids, but I'm ready to go home. Been sleeping in the trailer. Get to sleep in my bed tonight. <laughs> oh, you might feel like a queen tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Four hours, five hours back home. Eight. We'll make it eight. <laughs> we'll see you 
back in the cold weather.